and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Miss Brienne, and welcome to another session of Coding Craze. Coding Craze is the coding club that meets once a month during the school year in order to show you some of the different toys and games with, that involve coding that we have here to offer at the library. And usually when we do these programs live, you get the opportunity to test this out for yourself. These fun toys and games. Oh, sorry about my tablet. I am actually going to turn down the volume while I talk. So it's not too distracting. But in any event. There we go. But unfortunately we can't meet in person right now. So until we're able to meet in person again, I am going to show you all these exciting toys and games virtually here at the West Hampton Free Library. Now in our previous three, the last few sessions of Coding Craze, we were doing a mini series on a cool little kit called Block Cells. Now I had the introduction where I showed you how it works. And I told you, I also told you how to create a, char a character from block cells, as well as how to create backgrounds. Now, the backgrounds we didn't use the blocks for. Uh, if you've seen the previous videos, you'll know what I'm talking about. And then the characters, we did use the blocks. However, when we used the blocks to create our characters, the blocks were simply just colors. They really had no meaning whatsoever. But I did go over the meanings with you in, in the introductory video. Now they're going to mean something. So I showed you how to create a character. I showed you how to create a background. Now we are going to put all that together and I'm going to show you how to actually create a game level. Does that sound exciting? Alright, are we ready to begin? Okay, here we go. So here is the block cells kit. Now I have block, the kit that I have and that we bought here at the library is the block cells 1.0 kit. And it comes with everything you need. So let me open up the box. It comes with an instruction sheet or a guidebook, a special board, and then the blocks right over here. I'm trying not to spill them all. Now, last some, about six or so months ago, they completely changed the block cell system. I used, we used to be able to use an app called Block Cells Builder. It was completely free and you didn't even need the kit to activate it. Cool, huh? But you, I bought the kit because it's always it's more fun to play with the blocks than doing it on the t on the tablet. That's my opinion. However, they changed it. The block cells kit they no longer sell the block cells 1.0 kit. The kit that they sell is the block cells 2.0 kit. And what that is, is it comes with the with the materials that you see here. In addition to that though, it comes with a code. Now Block Cells Builder no longer exists. You can't download it anymore. They have a different Block Cells app now. And there's two ways you can use the app. One, you have to pay for it, which for which is probably around $10. Or you can buy the kit. They give you a code. And then when you download the Block Cells app, you put that code in and then you'll, you'll have access to that app. All right. Now, as I, are we ready to start creating? Now, as I mentioned before, people don't simply draw characters, upload them into a computer and say, oh, here's a video game. They use something called pixels, which are a type of dot. Now let me see here. Usually it's a 13 by 13 square. And then they use dot like pixels or dots in order to create the artwork. 
and they do this with the characters, with the levels. It's all, it's a strictly dot art. And that's what we're going to use to create our levels today. So, are we ready to begin? And each block or dot is worth one pixel or dot of artwork. Now, we have many different color blocks here to represent our dots and or our art. Now, each color, you may think, oh, it's pretty colors. I can create whatever I want. Not necessarily. That's basically true with the character design. Creating the levels is a little bit different. Each of these color blocks now have a meaning. And I'm going to tell you what they are right now. This green block right over here, that is your land block or your terrain. It creates the land or the ground or the grass that your player or the enemies walk on. So this is what creates the, the land that your character walks on, the green. So if you want land for your character to walk or jump on, use the green blocks. The red block is a hazard block. What that means, it, it represents a dangerous item or maybe a pit of something like spikes or lava. If your player touches it, they get harmed. So if you want hazards or things that cause harm in your game, you're going to use the red blocks. The yellow blocks, everybody will love these. The yellow blocks are your coin blocks. And if you've heard of Super Mario or Sonic, you, you see the coins or rings that your player collects. These blocks represent coins that, you're that you can use for your player to collect if you like. So if you want coins in your game, this is the block you use. The purple block is your enemy block. These represent the enemies in the game that your player fights. So, and you can actually learn, I think you can actually create your own enemies now for the game. So, if you want enemies in your game that your player fights, these are the blocks to use. The orange blocks are the exploding blocks. Now, these are things that whatever, if your player touches it, it blows up and your player will lose a life. If you like these in your game, these are the blocks to use. These white blocks are very special. They are dialogue or story blocks. Now, if, you're, if your player encounters one of these, you can have dialogue, maybe checkpoints, or if you're just directing them if they're going the right way, or if you want stories, a story throughout your game. These are the blocks you would use for that. These blue, light blue blocks here are your water blocks. They create the water in your game that your character can swim in if you like. So if you want like an all water game if, or all water level, these are the blocks you use. And finally, these pink blocks are the power-up blocks. Think of the little question marks that Super Mario has with the mushrooms and the flowers and the feathers. These represent those types of blocks. So if you want power-ups for your character to have, hold on, let me see if you can get a better view of this. These are the blocks you use. All right, so now that we know what the blocks are, let's build, let's build some levels and let's build a level in the game. So we're gonna take our blocks and we're gonna dump them all in where it says dump blocks here. Ready? Here we go. Let's see if I can do this without spilling anything. Yeah, 
actually did a good job this time. Only one block spilled. Round of applause, people. All right. So we got our we got our grid. We have our blocks. Now we are going to go into the game builder. So I'm going to turn on my tablet. Now, if you can see my tablet here, we inch that up. Here is the block cells app that we use now. There we go. So I'm going to tap on that. And here is the title screen. Now we have three buttons in the title screen. We have Builder, we have Arcade, and we have Settings. Builder is what we use to build, we're going to be using to build our game. Arcade, let me tap on it, has, all, has games that other people at Block Cells have created. And you could play these if you want. And you can, this is where you, the arcades where you use to publish games, which I will show you towards the end of this video. So let's, to go back home, you're going to click on these lines. This appears. We're going to go to home. And now we're going to build a game. So we're going to click builder. Now we have our four things. We can create games, characters, art, or background. And you can also create your own art if you want for your games. I usually use the defaults because I'm not that great at creating blocks of art. <laughs> but in any event, we're going to build our first, we're going to build our game. So we're going to click on games and we're entering the game builder. Now this is viewable assets, which are, which is like the different types of art that's available we're not going to do that what we want to do is create new game and if you did create games other they would appear here for you to select if you want to edit but we're going to create a new game so click on this and we have our game builder i am going to delete all these blocks this always appears by default I'm going to move my character a little bit to delete the other blocks. Move my character a little bit again. Delete. Now I want to start the very, very corner of our level. So I'm going to press and hold on the character. And we're going to, if you see the square moving, okay, so we're now at the very corner. So we're at the very edge, oh, let me move up a little bit. So we're at the very edge of our game. So now we're going to build our terrain. I'm not going to use that to build a level. I will show you in a little while how that's done. Let me turn down the volume of that because that's going to get very distracting very quickly. But here is our board. So let's see what I want. Well, I'm going to start at the very bottom. I want some ground to walk on. So I'm going to put some, ground, some land blocks right over here. pretty much good. And I just want a little bit higher. And there's some of my land. Now I want some higher piece of land for my character to jump. So I'm just going to put some land over here. Then I want more land for them to jump on. So I'm going to go up and put land over here. 
cool, huh? Okay, so I have my walking blocks. But, I want to jazz it up a bit. I want to have an introductory piece. Maybe tell, maybe what the objective of the game is. Write it out. So I'm going to put a dialogue or story block right over here. So the character will be able to read it. Also, maybe I want some coins. Maybe I'll put a, coin, a couple of coins right over here at the very start of the game. So there are my I want coins here. I want and I want some coins over at the first jumping block. So I have a story. I have land for my character to walk on. I have a story block. I have some coin and I have some coin blocks. Neat, huh? So that's going to end my first part right now. So now I want to capture this. So I want to capture this so it goes onto this tablet here. Now, as you can see, there's a little camera icon. I'm going to click on that. And now, what we're going to do, you may not be able to see this, I'm going to have to do it off camera, is I'm going to align it. And I'm going to try again because it didn't capture it right. Let me move some stuff out of the way. So let me try it again. There we go. So I captured it and it ca captured exactly what I wanted to. So if, you, if it didn't come out right, you can always hit try again. But if you think it's good like it is here, we're going to click OK, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, my level was pretty much as close to as you can get as possible. Now, at this point we're going to move our character over to the starting point. If There we go. So the character's over at the starting point. Now, this is just a standard character. I don't really want this character. I want the character I created from the last work from the last session of coding craze I showed you. So to do that, we're going to hit the character button and this little screen appears. Now you can give you know, like increase DNA, increase their lives, how they die. So I'm going to give them the maximum amount of lives. And I want all sparkly things when they die. The jumping's okay, and I think I want a lightning type a lightning type attack. But to use a different character, I'm going to create edit, and we got my character here. So we're going to select. So we're going to select the character. There we go, and that's the character we'll use. So when you're done, click save. So there's our character. Now we have a default background. I don't know if you can see it well enough, but I want to change it to a background to one of the backgrounds we initially created. So this where it says BG, we're going to click on the background, and we have the two backgrounds I created. I'm not particularly crazy about the sunset, so we're going to do this traditional background. And I don't know if you can see it, but once we test it out, you'll be able to see it. The background is completely changed. Okay. So now, what I want to do next is move the character over. And we're going to continue building. So, well actually before we do that, let's go back to the beginning. Oops. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's try and get some of this in. 
There we go. So, it, if you hit test right now, it's basically going to be just the blocks you put on. There's nothing very special about it. So how do we change it? Well, very simple. We're going to go to Edit. And sometimes it gets a little wonky. I apologize. But I'm just going to fix whatever. And if you need to delete something, you just tap on it and it goes away after you hit the erase button right over here. Okay, so we're going to change the artwork to make it look more video game like. So what you're going to do, this little tab here, if I can show you, is the blocks you use. This tab here is the artwork. Now as you can see, the background was more lit up a little bit more now that we selected that. So to add some artwork, see all these pluses right over here? We're going to click on the plus, and then you can use the own art you created, which I did. I did try creating my own art. It didn't come out so well, but there's my stuff. If you could see, and then there's asset packets. We're going to click on asset packs, and. We have some cool types of artwork right over here. What I want to do, and you could select different types of packs. We got city, Egypt, geology, etc., etc. I think I want to select, if I can find it, hold on, I'm trying to, default. So we're going to click on default, and these were the classic characters that they always had. So, I want something called grassy ground for some for the walking terrain. So I'm going to click on that and it added it. Now I want to add something else because there's some land underneath the grass. So to add more, you're going to click on another empty plus sign and then I'm going to click on ground. Now as you can see, the two pieces of artwork are here. So click anywhere to exit and now we're going to add our land. We're going to click on the one with the grass, as you can see I just clicked on it, and then touch the very top parts of the green blocks. And as you can see, it's changing. And we'll add a little bit here too. Cool, huh? And to add the ground, we're going to tap on the, gra tap on the ground like I just did here, and then we're going to touch the bottom parts. How about that? Isn't that amazing? Neat, huh? All right. So, we're going to exit the art and go back to the block temporarily. So, what I want to do is I want to click I want to click on this block right here, this white block. Uh, hold on a minute. So we're going to go to settings, and then we're going to tap on the white block. And this is where you enter your dialogue. So we add our dial. Hold on, let me see if I can get that into focus. We're going to add our dialogue right here. So we're going to click the add text, and then you just type in whatever you want, such as. Let's see. Welcome. To test game. Enter and then and then the text is right there. So that's the text. And then you can also, if you want, you can, if you want to make it a checkpoint, you check this off. But we're not going to. So, and you can select the flag if you want. But we're not going to do that. So we're just going to keep that dialogue. So then we enter out. 
So that's how you add your story, or you can add checkpoints. But in any event, let's go back to the art. So let's click on art. Now we're going to add some more things. We're going to go to a plus sign. Let's make, and we're still in the default packet, which I, which is what I want. Let's add, let's do the coin art. So we have coins right here. You're going to click on that. And then we're going to have something called, we have something called story sign. So we're going to click on an empty plus sign and add that. So we exit out. Now it's already selected on story sign. So we're going to touch the white block. And then we have a little signpost here. And to add our coins, we're going to click on the yellow coins. And we're going to tap on the yellow blocks. And there are our coins. Now let me move our character a little bit just so we have the other block and we're going to make that if you can see it we're going to make that walking land and there's our first level complete so we're just going to move it a little bit because we're going to continue it a little bit uh, we're going to go back to the blocks and we're going to add some more. So, we're going to tap on our green block, and the blocks are all on here, and they show you which ones they are. So, we're going to add some more blocks to our game. Move our characters so we have more room. Uh, I'm going to add some more coins. Let's see. Try and so we're going to add some coins here. Then we're going to add a power up. And then we're going to add, for the purple, our first enemy. So you can see where this is going, huh? Now we're going to go to our art, to the art tab. Going to tap on the land. Oh, tap on get out of this, tap on the land which is what we did here then we're going to make this all land then for our power up let's do a plus sign let's go up let's Hmm. Trying to think. Let's make that a treasure chest. And now for our enemy, let's do this turtle thing, Sheldon. So we're going to click on new plus sign. Click on Sheldon. If you There you go. So we're going to click on the treasure chest for our power up then we're going to click on Sheldon right over here and then tap on the purple block oh and don't forget let's not forget the coins so we're going to tap on the coin and one two three all right so we're making good progress now now let's move it a little bit. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to use the blocks to create more stuff. All right, so let's go back to our blocks. Going to get rid of all of these. Hold on a minute. So now I counted seven. The land continues at seven blocks down. So I'm going to 
make some land over here. like a pit here and I'm going to show you what that's going to do in a minute. And we got some pe some land right over here. Now I'm gonna have to fill. I'm not gonna have enough blocks to fill out everything, but I want some. Ha I want some lava here. So. I am covering this pit with some red hazard blocks. You know what? Put some here. So there's our lava. And I think I may make a little little trove right over here. Maybe put a couple of coins here. And maybe put a coin over here. And maybe have a couple of enemies right over here. All right. So I am going to take a picture of my, of my creation. So give me two seconds. And it looks perfect. So I'm going to click OK. And look, it continues from where I left off. So, let's do the art. Since we have all our art, I am going to click on the grass part where the character walks. And I'm going to tap on it. There we go. I'm going to tap on some grass here. Tap on some grass here. And tap on some grass over here. Cool, huh? Now, we're going to make some ground parts. So we're going to... Actually, I may do some rock. So we're going to click on the plus sign and then scroll down till we see some rock. And if we're, we're going to do another pack for the rock. So let's do the geology pack. That should have rock. So. We got some rock right over here. So we're going to click X out. It's already highlighting the rock and then we're going to tap all the way down. There we go. Now let's add some lava. I'm going to click on the plus sign, the empty plus sign again. We're going to click on lava waves for the top of the lava. Exit out. It's already highlighted. Then we're going to hit the top of the lava. Isn't that neat? Then we're going to click on the last empty plus sign that we have. 
touch the actual lava, open up, then we're going to cover the rest of these hazard blocks. And there you go. Amazing, huh? So now, we're going to go back to the ground, and we're going to cover this to turn into, and then grass at the top. We're going to click on our coin art to get the coins, and over here. Then we're going to click on Sheldon and cover the purple blocks for Sheldon. It's really getting cool, huh? All right, let's build one more thing. All right. So I'm going to get rid of some of these. right here. Then we may go down You know what, let's, let's throw in an exploding block. So here's another level. Again, I'm going to take a picture. So I'm going to click on the camera icon right over here. And it looks like it all came out OK. So we're going to click OK. And then it continues from where we left off. So now we're going to do our artwork. We're going to click on the grass and fill out all the blocks right here. Going to fill out these blocks right here, then these two blocks, and then the one up top. Then we're going to click on the ground and we're going to put some ground blocks. Then we're going to click on the treasure chest right here. Going to put them where the power ups are. And then we're going to click on the ground. And then do this. So our levels are coming out well so far. Now we need to add more artwork. So what we're going to do is we are going to, if I, there's a blank space. We're going to click on that or not. We're actually going to change a few things. Now we're going to get rid of the coins right now. So to do that, we're going to click on, we're going to click on the art. Okay, here we go. And let's go back to the default. 
and let's select hmm let's see trying to find something hmm Oops. yeah I'm trying to find a bomb Classic. All right, here we go. I found the bomb. Toxic black bomb. We're going to tap on that. And it'll go went over the coin. We're going to tap on the orange block. Oops. And there you go. And just one more thing, we're going to add a dialogue, dialogue block right over here. Then we're going to go back to art. We uh, actually, we're going to go to settings. We're going to tap on the white block. We're going to make that a checkpoint. Hold on, let me try and get... So we're going to click on... Oops. So we're going to click on checkpoint. And we're going to click on the flag. And... Let's... Actually, it's, that's an end flag. We're going to click on the dialog. So we're going to add some text. Level, see that, one, complete. Yeah, that flag is an end flag. We don't want that right now. Enter, then, so level one complete. And there you have it. So we're going to just click on, t we're going to make that a dialog box. We're going to click on that. Click on the white block, and there you have it. So now we're going to move our character, so just hold and drag all the way to the start. Now, let's see, I am going to test this game. And to test it, well actually let's put out the music, we can also change the music. So to do that real quick, we're going to tap on the little music block. Let's see what Lovely Day sounds like. Eh, it's alright. Let's what about the puppy shuffle? I think I like that, so we're gonna select that. So we're gonna select the puppy shuffle as our music. So if you want to test your game, you're gonna click on where it says test. So let's see if we can get this right. You ready? Here we go. Let's see how we'll... So, we're going to go to our dialog box. And then, you're going to click on where the dialog here. And then, it's, welcome to test game. Next. So, these buttons, you can move backwards or forwards. This is jump. If, it does a special move if you jump. So, we ready? Here we go. Don't want to do that. Uh oh. Oops. All right, let's try that again one more time.
Level 1 complete. And you can go backwards in this game. Yeah, it's hard to do it when you're trying to do it from the top point. Well, let's go back to edit. It does need some editing, but you know how it works, right? And you can edit this as much as you want. In the game builder, only you can play the game, and it's only in edit mode or test mode when it's yours. If you created the game and you think it's good enough, and you think it's great, what you can do is you can pu you can publish. So we're going to exit out of the builder because I'll sh click on these lines, go to arcade. So when you're ready, you hit the publish button, and it guides you on what naming your game, uh, where the starting point is, where the end point, making sure you have an end point, editing your levels one more time. And then it gets sent to the moderators. And the moderators will review it. And if they approve, it will post in the arcade within 24 hours. However, keep in mind, once you publish a game, it's now available to everyone who has a Block Cells account, not just you. So think twice before you decide to publish a game. Okay? Well, let's, anyway. That is how you create a game in Block Cells. And I hope you had fun with this series. I certainly had fun creating these video game levels with you. But in any event, we will be learning, I'll be showing you a new robot next month in our Coding Craze series. So please stay tuned to that. And also check out the many different types of virtual programs and videos that the West Hampton Free Library and Children's Department has to offer. But I'm looking forward to meeting with you guys next month. But until then, take good care of yourselves, enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you in February.